Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining plant tropisms and um, hormones. Okay. So, what we need to know is that plants are able to respond to their environment by growing in response to different stimuli, such as light, water, and gravity. And these allow it to maximise its survival and stay alive. So the first definition, we're going to look at tropism. Tropism is a directional growth in response to stimuli. So, growth. So, for example, a plant growing in response to water or light is known as a tropism. If it's positive, it means it's towards the stimuli. So, towards stimuli would be positive, so a plant shoot growing towards a light would be a positive phototropism. Photo just means light. Negative means away from the stimuli. So, for example, the shoot of a plant growing away from the light would be negative phototropism. And auxin is the hormone that controls this. So, auxin is the plant growth hormone that controls that growth. So, if we're calling it in response to light, that's phototropism. So, towards would be positive away would be negative. In response to water, that would be hydrotropism. And in response to gravity, that would be geotropism or gravitropism. Now I'm going to go through one example and explain how it works, because you need to know where auxin is produced and how it works. So I've got my diagram here. This is just a very simple drawing of a plant shoot. And I'm going to come on to a wire drawn like this in a second. Here we have sunlight. So as you may already know, plants grow so they face the sunlight so you can get maximum light for photosynthesis. Now, what happens is in the tip of the shoot, so here right at the tip, the hormone auxin is produced. Now what happens is that hormone travels down the cells of the far side away from the light. So the side away from the light has more auxin than the side near the light. And what auxin actually does is it causes the cells to elongate. So the cells lengthen and grow. Now the reason this is important is because this allows the plant to curve towards the light. So if you look at the length of our cells here, so the cells on the far side have actually grown longer than the cells on the near side and that allows the shoot to bend and grow towards the light allowing the shoot to get maximum light for photosynthesis. Now that's all we need to know about that. Now a key point is that the shoots behave in the opposite way to the roots. Okay? So the roots all, will always respond opposite to the shoot. So where, while the roots grow away from light, the shoots grow towards it. Okay? Um, so, that is plant hormones and tropisms. If you have any questions or any requests, please leave them in the comments. And please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Rushliffe Thank you very much.